aka Total Makeup Junkie with a one. So today I am going to be doing a very, very long, very informative review video. And I wanted to start off this video by letting you know that this video is going to be long. So if you are one of those people who's like, you talk too much, you don't want to watch this video. And if you're not someone who likes long videos, just go ahead and check out my blog post. I did a full in-depth blog post picture swatches, written review of everything I'm about to talk about. I will link it. It'll be the first link in the description box below. So if you don't want to listen to my voice for like 20 plus minutes, just go ahead and go over there. Also, before we jump into the content of this video, I did feel like it would be completely inappropriate of me to not come on here and thank you guys so much for all of your love and support because I did recently hit over 100,000 subscribers, which is incredible. I cannot thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I don't feel like this is just my accomplishment or my milestone, but it's our milestone because at the end of the day, I would just be a girl sitting in front of a camera talking to herself if you guys weren't watching. So you're the viewers, you guys deserve all of the credit. Thank you so, so much. And I know I thank you guys a lot for watching my videos and I try to say it at the end of every single video I do, but do know that that's not just a formality. I don't just do it because it sounds good. I really genuinely mean it. It's not a collective number. 100,000 is not just one giant person. Each and every one of you came together to create this little makeup junkie family and I love it. So. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all of you new viewers. If you do decide to stick around and subscribe, I love all of you guys. Okay, back into the content of this video. Today we are going to be talking about the new Urban Decay Vice lipstick line. You guys are probably aware that Urban Decay recently discontinued their entire Revolution lipstick line, including the Sheer Revolution and my beloved Matte Revolution formulas. And when I heard that Urban Decay was discontinuing their entire line of lipsticks, there were a couple of emotions that ran through my head First off, I was kind of excited because I knew something big was on the horizon. To be fair, I didn't know it was going to be this big of a launch, but I also had a little bit of fear because I worried that my all-time favorite lipstick, I mean, this is the single lipstick that I love more than anything in my entire collection, was also being discontinued. So I started driving to the closest Sephora, Ulta, anywhere that I could go to find my beloved favorite lipstick and snatch as many backups as I could for fear that Urban Decay was going to mess it up. Good news, I got a ton of backups. I have like seven backups of my favorite lipstick. And more good news, Urban Decay did not completely discontinue it. They did actually bring it back. And I know I'm leaving you guys in a little bit of suspense, but I'm gonna keep you there because I will talk about my all-time favorite lipstick a little bit later on in the video. But anyways, right now I did want to talk about this entire launch. Urban Decay did release 120 different shades of lipstick. If you go to any retail stores like Macy's, Sephora, Ulta, each store will only be carrying a selection of 100, only 100. So you know we're all like skimping on color selection there. There are six different finishes that these lipsticks come in. Granted, all of the packaging on all 120 shades all look exactly the same on the outside. Each of these lipsticks retails for $17 a piece, which is a significant price drop from the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick line. These retailed for $22 a piece. And in my head, a $5 price drop is very significant. I will talk about why I think that is a little bit later on. The way I'm gonna break down this video, first off, we are going to go ahead and talk about all six of the different finishes they offer I will go ahead and give you guys a mini review on the formula and my personal opinion. Then we will talk about the packaging and I'm going to go ahead and compare it to the Revolution packaging. And then I'm going to go in and do lip swatches because I have 37 different colors to swatch on my lips. And then finally, I'll just do kind of like a quick wrap up and my opinion on the line overall. So it's going to be a very long video. Let's jump into discussing the six different finishes. The first 
finish I want to talk about is the Sheer Finish Lipstick. Now, the Sheer Finish is the exact same formula as the original Urban Decay Sheer Revolution lipsticks. If you guys were familiar with this original Sheer Revolution formula, it did come in this metallic light purple packaging. Now, of course, all of the lipsticks come in this exact same packaging. There aren't a ton of Sheer options to pick from, but a lot of the more popular colors in the original Sheer Revolution lipstick have been brought back. There are also a lot of new shades. So if you were a fan of this formula, you probably want to check out the new colors. This formula kind of reminds me of a cross between a cream lipstick and a tinted lip balm. It has a little bit more color payoff than a typical tinted lip balm does, but it still feels very balm-like on the lips. I do feel like this finish has the thickest feeling on the lips even over any of the other finishes in this collection and that's not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of sheer lipsticks tend to have a very thin almost like a greasy texture and these are definitely a little bit more like cushiony or gel like. I personally really like that in a sheer lipstick because it does give it a lot more staying power. To be fair, these have the least amount of staying power out of any of the other finishes because they are fairly sheer. Now, depending on the color you get, they can be very buildable. Some of the brighter or darker shades will give a strong punch of color. They do have a very, very glossy look on the lips. And I would say overall, if you're not a fan of fully opaque, or creamy or even a matte finish of lipstick, you may want to check these out. Now, the next finish I want to talk about is the Sheer Shimmer Finish. Now, I would kind of clump this in with the Sheer Finish. There aren't a lot of Sheer Shimmer options. I believe there are only like five or six to pick from. I feel like the overall look and the wear on the lips is really similar to the Sheer Finish, but as you would expect, there is a little bit of sparkle or shimmer in this finish. It's nothing crazy. There's no chunk of glitter. It just gives a little bit of a shine. I've noticed that all of the sheer shimmer finishes tend to be even less pigmented than the original shears. Not that any of the shears really build up to full opacity, but I've noticed that the sheer shimmers really take a lot of building to get any significant color payoff. And even then, it's, it's almost impossible. The Sheer Shimmer finish is definitely my least favorite finish out of all six that Urban Decay offers, but that's not to say that I dislike it or I hate it. It's just, it wouldn't be, you know, in my top three. Now I'm going to talk about the metalized finish. Now this is a brand new finish that Urban Decay just introduced, I believe firstly in their Alice Through the Looking Glass collaboration that they recently did. That's kind of where they did their intro into the metalized finish and they released quite a few metalized shades. The metalized finish in my opinion is so hit and miss. Some of the colors are super super sheer and have almost like a barely there sparkle in them. I would almost classify those under the sheer shimmer finish, not really the metalized finish. But then some of them have fully opaque one swipe pigmentation. They have that true liquid metal look on the lips. And then some of them are just kind of in between. Like they have a semi sheer to very buildable color payoff with a little bit of shimmer or some type of reflect, but it's not really metallic. In my head, when I think of a metalized finish, I expect like liquid gold. And I would say some of them give that effect, but most of them are more on the slightly shimmer side. Moving on into the cream finish. This is definitely the finish that has the most expansive color range. There are so many cream finish lipsticks in this collection. This is the exact same formula as the original Revolution lipsticks, the one that came in these gunmetal tubes. I absolutely loved the original Revolution lipsticks and I was sad to see them go, but I'm happy to see that they not only brought back a lot of the most popular colors in this line, 
but they expanded it significantly. I've always been a big fan of these original Revolution and even with the new Vice cream finish. They are one swipe pigmented, super like glossy on the lips, very comfortable feeling because they do give one swipe pigmentation. They're not heavy or thick. They last a really great amount of time, especially for a cream finish. More often than not, a matte finish lipstick is going to last you the longest because it has the cling that really clings onto your lips. But I've noticed that these cream finishes really do cling on very well. These are going to, you know, transfer and smudge off a little bit, but overall, I really love the cream finish. And in terms of my makeup knowledge, which I've tried a lot of lipsticks, the closest thing I can relate these Urban Decay Cream Vice lipsticks to is something like the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. Obviously, they're not made of like all the natural food grade ingredients that the Bite Beauty lipsticks are made of, but I would say that these cream finishes are really similar and they're like $10 cheaper. Next up, let's talk about the Comfort Matte Finish. This was so exciting to me because the Comfort Matte Finish is the exact same thing as the Matte Revolution lipsticks, which you guys know I'm completely obsessed with. I did do a full in-depth review video swatching this entire line. I will link it in the description box below for you guys if you're interested because most of those colors, if not all of those colors in that original matte revolution lipstick line have been brought back in the comfort matte finish and there are a ton of colors to pick from. This finish has the second most color options next to the cream finish and the comfort matte finish is by far my favorite finish out of all six offered. The feel of the Comfort Matte is really that. It is a very comfortable matte finish. It has like that slippy, silicone-y feel going on. It doesn't tug, it doesn't smudge. Once you have it on your lips for, you know, an hour or two, it's practically transfer proof. It lasts pretty much all day, but it never dries your lips out. I've never had that problem halfway through the day feeling like my lips are parched or I need to, you know, apply a lip balm or anything like that. And I'm sure that the suspense was killing you guys. What is my all time favorite lipstick? The one that I was heartbroken over, the one that I ran to go get backups of that I was talking about at the beginning of this video. It was the Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipstick in the shade After Dark. If you guys follow me on any social media, you know that. This is what it looks like. It is the best berry, purpley, fuchsia color. It is so flattering on all skin tones and I've only raved and raved and raved about it on Snapchat. So much so that tons of you guys went out and purchased it and have snapped me pictures of you wearing it. And that is so exciting to me. I'm so glad that tons of you guys have been loving this lipstick too. I've said it over and over again. This is my power lipstick color. Anytime I have a meeting, an event, any important occasion where I want something to pop. I want my face to look alive, but I want something that's going to last even through eating and drinking and not smudge everywhere. This is it. I love this guy. I am so happy to report that Urban Decay did bring back the shade in After Dark in this Vice lipstick line. And then the final finish I want to quickly discuss is the Mega Matte Finish. Now the Mega Matte is a pretty new finish to the Urban Decay line. It was first introduced in the Gwen Stefani lipstick collaboration with the shade 714. I would say that the Mega Matte Finish is verging closer to a traditional matte lipstick lipstick finish in the sense that it does tug a little bit. It is a little drier on the lips than the Comfort Matte, but the length of wear you're going to get out of the Mega Matte finish is going to be a lot more than any of the other finishes that Urban Decay released. Now, even with that being said, I definitely wouldn't say the Mega Matte finish is uncomfortable at all. I would not put it in the same category as a traditional MAC matte lipstick, specifically like the matte, what is it called? The, um, shoot, I'm drawing a blank. You guys know the one I'm talking about, the one that was introduced in the Rihanna collaboration. Oh my gosh, I have to look this up. Oh, the Retro Matte, Ugh, that's what it's called. Okay, the MAC Retro Matte Finish is pretty drying. I would not classify these Urban Decay Mega Mattes to be in that family. The Mega Matte Finish doesn't have as much of a 
cushion or a comfortable feel as the comfort mat, but it almost dries down very, very weightless. I kind of want to classify it as a liquid lipstick, but in a lipstick form, because you know when you put on a liquid lipstick and it feels drying, but it feels very lightweight, that's kind of how these feel. Okay, so that was my mini review on all six of the different finishes you will find in this ginormous lipstick collection. Now let's go ahead and discuss the packaging. I want to kind of compare it to the Revolution packaging. So here's what the outer packaging of the Vice lip sticks looks like. Now it does kind of have a similar like gunmetal kind of like that dented look to it and it does have Urban Decay embossed on the side, the UD embossed on the top and then it just pulls apart. Well it's supposed to pull apart. There we go. And this bottom part here is like a shiny gold. This inner part is the gunmetal and then that's what the actual tube of lipstick looks like. It does have UD kind of stamped in the lipstick itself like you can see. So so overall, I like it. I don't love it. I really did love the original Revolution packaging. This new packaging is made of a plastic. To be fair, it's not as cheapy feeling as the Gwen Stefani lipsticks or the Alice Through the Looking Glass lipsticks. Those felt like just plastic cheapness. These have a little bit more weight to them, but I mean, these Revolution lipsticks, I mean, they had like a nice heft. I don't know. There's just something about these that I just much preferred this packaging, but I do know that the packaging is the thing that costed the most money for Urban Decay because of the way these are filled and because of the overall quality of the packaging. I do think with this slightly decreased quality, the price that it costs to make this lipstick is probably half of what it costed to make this. Okay, now let's go ahead and jump into the fun stuff and do some lip swatches. I did wanna let you guys know that I did purchase 13 different colors myself, but I did get this little sample booklet from Sephora. It was like a little code when you place a sephora.com order and in this little booklet there is like little one-time use samples of 24 different colors so i made sure to pick up 13 colors that weren't included in this book so total i have 37 different lip swatches to show you guys my lips are going to be crying after this so i hope you guys enjoy it and let's jump into it so the first finish we're going to talk about is the sheer finish and i only have two different shades to show you guys in the sheer finish this is the first one this is called snitch and you can see it is one of the little samples i got but this one is kind of like a pale corally pink color and this color is a little bit streaky on the lips the only other sheer shade i have is this one which is called sheer anarchy and i believe this shade was in the original sheer revolution line and urban decay did bring it back in this vice collection and this is a gorgeous hot fuchsia pink kind of like that just bit in popsicle type look. Next up, I only have one of the sheer shimmers to discuss with you guys. This one here is called Seismic, and it is one of the darkest sheer shimmers that Urban Decay offers, and you can see it is very, very sheer. This is kind of like a super sheer plum with a little bit of purple or pink sparkle in it, but honestly, this isn't really the most flattering color, at least on my skin tone. It kind of looks like my lips are bruised. Just Jumping into the metalized finish, I have five different shades to show you guys. This first one is called Gubby, and this is a very, very light nude with a silver sparkle to it, but you could see it's not super pigmented. This is one of the shades that I would probably put more in like the sheer family, even over the metalized, because it's not super metallic. Amulet is a really gorgeous, coppery, bronzy, metallic color. I would definitely say for a seemingly metallic lipstick, this one is really, really wearable. I love it a lot. Conspiracy is a really unique coppery bronze metallic color it's definitely unique for a lipstick i'm sure i have eyeshadows that look like this but 
think it makes a really cool lipstick color. Big Bang is included in the metalized finish, but I would probably consider this more of a glitter balm. This is a light pink base with a ton of hot pink and like silver glitter chunks in it. It doesn't feel chunky on the lips though, which is really nice, but it looks really glittery. The final metalized lipstick I have and the only one that I actually purchased is called Wrath. And this is a gorgeous kind of orangey red with a lot of a golden metallic shift to it. I would say this is the only one out of all five that I showed you that I would consider a true metallic. It is a very, very multi-dimensional on the lips and it's gorgeous. Now jumping into the cream finishes. The first shade we have is called Naked and this one was brought back from the original Revolution lipstick line. This is a really nice nice kind of lighter nudie pink color and this one isn't as opaque as some of the other ones in the cream finish and I think that helps it be a lot more wearable especially for a darker skin tone like mine. Violate is another one of the shades that I purchased. You could see this is a kind of light pinkish purple type color, but it's still pretty wearable on a tan complexion like mine. And I'm planning on pulling in like a plum lip liner with this and I think it'll be beautiful. Cruise is another purple color. And once again, another one that I purchased because the second I swatched it in the store, it reminded me of NARS Dominique. So into the shopping basket it went. It's kind of like a muted, purple lavender type color, but very wearable for a lavender. I really, really love this one. Rapture is another one of the fan favorite shades that Urban Decay brought back from the original Revolution lipstick line. This is a really pretty muted mauve nude color, but it's one of those nudie colors that's wearable for all skin tones. It's gorgeous. ZZ is another one of those purpley pinks. I would describe this as a light pink with a purple undertone to it. And I actually really, really love this color on me. I may go pick it up in the full size. Manic is another one of those fan favorite shades that Urban Decay brought back from the original Revolution line. This one I would describe as a medium bricky red neutral color. So if you kind of like those brick toned lips, but you're not in the mood to wear a bright red lip, this is definitely a more muted option for you. Crisis is pretty much your classic neutral, rosy, mauve type color. I don't really know why I purchased this. I love colors like this, don't get me wrong, but I know that I have like 40 different colors in my lipstick collection that look exactly like this. It's beautiful, it's got a great formula though. Easy is such a beautiful, bright, reddish orange color. It kind of reminds me of the color of like a persimmon or something. I love it. This color is right up my alley. Another one that I definitely need to go purchase in the full size. Jilted is another shade that they did bring back from their original Revolution lipstick line. This is a beautiful hot pink with kind of this bluey purple duochrome shift to it. I wouldn't describe it enough of like a metallic to be classified in the metalized finish, but it's definitely visible and it's so unique. Firebird is another shade we've seen from Urban Decay before, but this was released limited edition in the Gwen Stefani collaboration collection. And if you guys did want to see my review and lip swatches of all of the colors that came out in that collection, I will go ahead and link my video in the description box below for you. But this is one that they did bring back permanently in the Vice lipstick line. It's a gorgeous hot pink with once again, kind of like this blue duochrome in it. It's similar to Jilted, the last one I showed you, but this one is a little bit brighter of a pink. Ravenswood is another nudie neutral color. Once again, I don't know why I picked this up, maybe because it kind of reminded me of Pretty Little Liars because of the name Ravenswood. But anyways, again, really beautiful formula on this color. Gash is another color that Urban Decay did have in their permanent Revolution lipstick line. This is a really pretty, kind of like a blood red color with a little bit of sparkle in it. So it kind of gives it some dimension 
really gorgeous. Rocksteady is yet another color that was brought back from the Gwen Stefani collaboration collection. This is a gorgeous kind of deep blood red color with a little bit of a brown undertone to it and you're going to have to pardon any of the darker colors that kind of look really badly applied when they're from here because I'm applying them with my finger and it's really hard to get any crisp edges on this but hopefully you guys can get an idea of the color anyways and the final cream color we have is called mosh pit and this is a really pretty deep berry purple type color and these types of colors are just right up my alley it was just known when i swatched this color that it was coming home with me now we are jumping into my favorite finish of the six these are the comfort mats so first up we have Stark Naked. This is one that was re-promoted from the Permanent Matte Revolution lipstick line. It is just a light, nudie, neutral color. Pretty basic and standard. Back Talk is another color that was re-promoted from the Matte Revolution lipstick line, but I believe this particular color was exclusive to the Urban Decay website and Urban Decay stores, but I love it. It's kind of like a light, nude, pink type color and now that you can get it everywhere I think you guys need this one. Uptight is a light nude color with a little bit of like a peachy base to it. Honestly, I don't really know why I picked this one up. It's not the most flattering shade on my skin tone, but I think I just got sucked into the whole comfort matte, my favorite lipstick formula of all time, grab them all. Hitchhike, I would have to say, is probably one of my all time favorite comfort matte colors that I have. This is a gorgeous medium, kind of like a burnt orangey nude type color. Super unique in my opinion. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head I have like it and I love it. Checkmate is a little bit of a wild color for me. It's kind of like a bright, medium, pinkish coral type color. And this is generally the color that looks a little too bright on a tan complexion. So I'm on the fence on whether or not I love it. I love the formula. I'm kind of iffy on the color. Menace is a gorgeous color. And I'm not sure if this was a permanent part of the Matte Revolution lipsticks, but I think it was. This is a bright, hot, fuchsia pink so gorgeous for the spring and summer psycho is such a unique color this is kind of like a magenta pink base with these little specks of blue shimmers in it and it almost looks like fairy dust just sprinkled on your lips it's really really cool this is absolutely one i'm going to go back and purchase in the full size next up we have notorious and this is another shade that was giving me kind of like NARS Dominique vibes except this one is definitely darker and deeper but it's still kind of like that muted mid-tone purple color and I mean you guys know how I feel about my purple lipstick. I need to get them all and I just love this. Disturbed is a dark brown with a strong reddish undertone to it. It is so pretty, but I will say that this color went on a little streaky. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I was dipping my finger into a little pot here and smearing it on with my finger, but none of the other ones that I did that with went on patchy. This one did, so. Something to keep in mind. Tampered is a really pretty kind of understated nude color with a strong gray base to it. So it's really pretty, but it's not super gray. It has a little bit of pink. So it's still very, very wearable. Blackmail is another shade that Urban Decay did have in their permanent matte revolution lipsticks. This is a deep, blackened plum color. I love this color. This is for someone who wants to look like a goth without truly looking goth. It's really, really pretty. Finally, we are finishing up the swatches portion of this review video by talking about the last finish, which is the Mega Matte. I have four different shades to show you. This first one is called Pandemonium, and this is a bright violet purple. I love it. You guys know I love purple lips. Another one I need to go and purchase in the full size because it's gorge. Crank is what I would consider to be a bright 
violet orchid type color because it's that perfect mix of purple and hot pink and once again I love this lipstick 714 is the original mega matte lipstick that Urban Decay released in the Gwen Stefani collaboration collection this is a true bright red like a true tomato red color I do like this color a lot but I wouldn't say it's like a unique red and then the final color we are going to talk about my lips are so ready to be done with these lip swatches this color is called alpha and this is a true raspberry pink type color I absolutely love shades like this on all skin tones so there you have 37 different lipstick swatches on my mouth I hope you guys liked seeing at least one color from every different formula. A couple of last housekeeping things I wanted to talk about before we end this video. First off, for those of you guys who are interested, there is absolutely no scent added to any of these lipsticks. They are completely unscented in my opinion. Even when you stick them super up close to your nose, you can't really smell anything. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is that at the bottom of all of these lipsticks, there is a little colored label with the name and the finish. And this label is the approximate color of the lipstick that's inside, but some of them are really close and then some of them are so far off and I just wanted to let you guys know that for anybody who's just going based off of the color of the label don't because some of them are really close like this one here is alpha and I would say that that's you know that's pretty accurate but then there's this one in Ravenswood where if you look at the bottom label it kind of looks like a deep mauve and then you actually look at the lipstick and it's like this lighter nude color so some of them are really off in my opinion. Just keep that in mind. Alrighty, I think that pretty much wraps up this ginormous review video. Like I said earlier, if you guys wanna see a more in-depth written review and picture swatches of every single color I showed you guys, definitely check out my blog post, it's linked below. Let me know if you guys have picked up any of these lipsticks and what you think of the colors that you have because I would love to know and there are so many other colors that I have my eyes on but I really need to pace myself so that is everything thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday I will see you then bye you guys can probably tell the big trend with eyeshadow palettes are these kinds of reddish now these like foily shadows here are definitely the best in this palette but 